That clearly was not about a battery. It never was about a battery. That was about ripping a hole in space-time so that Beta could accomplish some sort of mission. Like... Say my first rodeo, Beta. Cha-Cha, whoever you are. <laughs> I decrypted some more of the data, Sasha. About the cavern you just left behind? They refer to it as Ground Zero. Ground Zero? That place in the mines? That's where the red matter was first discovered. Dr. Lysenko designed the machine to manipulate it in some way. You think maybe Lysenko and Arena worked on their experiments with the red matter together? <sighs> I'd be surprised. The doctor had a reputation for being very possessive of his research. I doubt they'd have gotten along. End of the line. Looks like we finally made it to the secondary entrance. Where exactly did you say this fire broke out, Beta? Not a trace of it so far. That's odd. Reports indicate that the fire had devastating effects. Maybe it only affected the base's innermost areas? In any case, let's focus on finding stars. Plans to the rail depot. A line has been drawn indicating how to reach a specific section. Okay, so I've got to go... That way. Let's try slot three. Lucky number three. Hmm. Stars. He plotted a course to the rail depot and is headed for the main hall. Hmm. Looks like he's also been looking into uh defense drum schematics. Wait. Defense drones? Don't tell me they have those patrolling the area. Looks that way. Turns out Lysenko ordered their deployment himself. The doctor? What the hell is he protecting? Be very, very careful, Sasha. Those drones are lethal and you don't have combat training. Don't worry. I'll be careful. But I do have... A new weapon. Oh, okay, wait a minute. So, in from this side, follow the left hand track. Okay. Got my new weapon. Great, I see one. It spotted me. Take cover! Try firing at its weak spots. Good shot. Keep it up.
All clear. Don't see any more of them. Good. Keep an eye out, Sasha. I doubt they'll be the last. This access terminal is offline. Alright, so we're doing a little hoppity jumpity. <laughs> Follow the cables. The cables shall take you to salvation. Ah. Okay. Well, let's uh area I still need an ID badge from somewhere Ooh, what's up there Here is a sample I promised you I have not filled in the cargo manifest as instructed by Dr. Lysenko. I hope my efforts will be rewarded. Nikolai. The worst. I hate you, Nikolai. Hmm. Acquiring security code from Vlad. Oh no, not you again. I'll never be rid of you. Will I? What are you even doing here? Me? This is but one of many places from which I serve my comrades. Don't mind the modest workspace. Sure, it lacks the gravitas of more grandiose abode, but it is refreshingly humble, don't you think? Of course, I am only here on a voluntary basis. Someone such as yourself might believe this was against my will. You would be mistaken. I got your ID, so thanks. <laughs>
to break up. You only have to break off one panel and then hit him in the tender bits underneath said panel. more down great job you sure you don't have prior combat training the gentleman has his secrets does he not <laughs> Stas has opened a hole in the ground, but I can't get to it. Got a There's a turret on. protecting the area. And this one is shielded. Ugh, that's just great. Well, maybe there's a terminal nearby to disable it. Maybe. I see what you're after. I smell what you're stepping in. didn't put my arms out like it's pop one. You didn't see that. That's not what I did. <laughs> Got a little bit of red matter going on in this little laboratory over here. Beta, they were storing the red matter in simple hydrogen tanks. There are leaks everywhere. Yeah, that checks out with the information I've managed yeah, to encrypt so far. checks out! It looks like they were extracting red <laughs> matter from Ground Zero and transporting it here via the rail network. But why so much? Was Lysenko out of his mind? I, I can understand small-scale sample research like Arena did. But this... I'm not sure what to say. I just as surprised as you are. They were playing with fire. This is the fifth clock I've had to check this week. If the Cos Cosmoboro has decided to cheap it out on clocks, it's not my problem. I don't have time for this. 
We will not meet our quota if we stop the extraction they've held out so far. They'll hold out for a while longer. Stop being such an alarmist. You're going to get us into trouble. We have to abort the extraction. These containers are not designed for this and there is not much more I can do. It's only a matter of time before they start leaking. Alright, well I've got this. Looks like I need power from over here. There's a crank. And a, oh, this clearly goes there. Find the crank, though, is what's up first. Got some leaky. Oh, there's a crank. Uh, how do I get? Okay. I'm gonna do some air duct shuffle. Wouldn't it just start when it when I yoink on the thingy? Now I can. Yes. Okay. All oh, this is making so much more sense. Wait, I can probably just jump from this to that. I don't need to go all the way back over there. It's a red matter, red herring. These guys store their components in very strange locations, I gotta say. This must be where they studied the red matter. I'm still checking the data. Let's see if I can figure out what they planned on doing with it. I have received news that Arena Sarova has applied for a transfer to Strelka 3. Her progress with the red matter and Tosca station has been negligible. Our progress, on the other hand, is much more promising. Keep it up, comrades. Good work, Andre Lysenko. So Andre is the Nikolai of this plot line. We are testing the impact of varying frequencies of light on the red matter, but I have serious doubts about whether we are taking the proper precautions. I'm already the second replacement they've had called in here at the lab, and I'm beginning to feel sick myself.
extensive lithological surface analysis of the sample extracted from the excavation area. Comparative analysis of the sample after using after radiation using high frequency photons. Radiation measurements after exposing samples to high frequency photons. Parameters exceed limits for normal human exposure. Conclusive report on the multiple diagnostics performed on the extracted samples and the measurable negative effects in case of an uncontrolled exposure. So there's a spoot spoot. Okay, that's the... these guys out of here because they're just in the way. I was trying to do some fancy stuff and move them out, like thread the needle a little bit. But... Connection established. Press X to initiate hacking sequence.
ping over here somewhere? Turret shields on. Turret shield. How about turret, turret shields shield is off? down. Boink. Okay, great. Now just. Whoa. What was that? Got nothing. So it has a little regen bar. Sasha? Okay, problem solved. Beta, I'm going down. Roger that. 